Talk to us, Eric. Okay, thank you. So, I want to discuss a simple toy example. Let's say we have this uh, piece of code. We have a factor of strings. We push back several values. We reassign a value. We iterate through it. And we uh, print them. Very simple. Now, this will be the output. <laughs> then we have an exercise. We want to print an exclamation mark every <coughs> time we uh, access a member function. So how can we do that? One solution for that is uh, by using smart pointers. <coughs> for example, we can define the class template inspector in which we simply implement the operator arrow and the dereference operator. We print the exclamation mark and we forward to the member function. Now, that gives the result. We need to update our code a bit. So this becomes the inspector of the vector. Then we use the arrows. OK, we dereference it. A couple of asterisks, no problem. And it gives our output. But I don't like this code. There are several problems with it. Yeah, it's basically a mess. We add a lot of noise to it. Uh, this is quite uh, a few codes, a couple of lines. So it, yeah, imagine you have a, a code base of a million lines of code, and you need to propagate these changes uh, everywhere that yeah, won't work. And yeah, it's totally not generic, because uh, yeah, if this type would be a normal vector, then you have value semantics. And suddenly, we have pointer semantics. So yeah, that's not a solution I uh, would really recommend. So what do we want? We don't want pointer semantics, but reference semantics. Uh, so we don't want to operate the arrow, over, uh, the arrow operator, but yeah, the dot operator, if that would be possible. Well, it seems that there are several uh, proposals in the make. Uh, one of them is the operator dot. Um, yeah, syntactically, it's very similar to the arrow operator. Instead of uh, returning a pointer, uh, a reference is returned. So also here, we print the exclamation mark, we return the object, and yeah, the member function is called. Uh, another proposal is smart references through delegation, uh, which works a little bit different. Instead of inheriting from the delegate object, so in this case, the S3 vector of strings, uh, you only in inherit the public interface. Uh, when you call a member function, then uh, it tries to convert it to the delegate object, the string of uh, the, the vector of strings. So it calls that uh, function, and then it prints the exclamation mark and returns the object and forwards to the member function. So that uh, those are two proposals that will uh, address our uh, use case. But these are proposals. Uh, yeah, okay, they have many uh, uh, use cases, so it, it will solve a lot of problems, uh, like rebindable references, uh, uh, decorators, uh, properties. We can implement a lot of it, and yeah, probably this uh, list is incomplete. Uh, and I expect a lot of people will have uh, other use cases for it. So yeah, you can let your creativity go. But when will it be available? And the question is, will it ever become available? We will now get uh, meta classes, uh, yeah, not in uh, C++ 20, uh, maybe not even 23. We don't know. Um, and, and then it might not even be necessary, this feature. So yeah, what should we do? Should we wait for it? Because yeah, I would like to use this now. But yeah, we don't have this uh, language feature. So I was thinking about this. So I took the design of this uh, paper, and I thought, can I do this in a library? So I uh, yeah, tried several things, and I created this library, the Smart Ref library. It's a header-only, uh, zero overhead library for creating these uh, smart references. And the only difference is three characters. Here I highlight it. You inherit from a class, which pr provides exactly the same functionality. So then it becomes this. 